Hey guys, what is up here? It's a boy, Cool Titanium 16, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. So today we've actually got some surprisingly new rumors from about the new uh, iPhone 11, as I think is what it's going to be called, which is probably likely. So the iPhone 11 may actually have Touch ID coming back. So if you all don't remember. In 2017, which was about two years ago, there's about almost two years, coming up on two years ago, um, Apple almost Apple basically killed off Touch ID, and the reason for that was because they couldn't get an in they couldn't get a on a built a fingerprint sensor embedded into the into the display, and that was supposed to be like the biggest thing about Touch ID and I actually remember making a video about that and I was actually pretty sad about that but now could Apple be bringing it back have they figured out how to embed it into the display after probably sick after so many Android phones have figured out how to do it that could be cool like, like that would be very very cool of Apple to do that I mean, let's look here. This is a success. This is my daily driver. I use Touch ID every day. If me going to Face ID would be kind of a pain because I'd be used to going like this every time, but I can't. And actually, this needs to be updated. I keep forgetting to do that. But that's not the point. If it comes back, that'd be such a big thing. Because Touch ID and Face ID together could be very secure. I mean, Face ID is already the, one of the most secure facial recognition, uh, one of the most secure facial recognition uh, things out of even a out of like the smartphone industry, even Androids. Like all the Android devices that had facial recognition. You could put on like a pretty realistic face mask, you trick them. You put it on the face ID, nope, it doesn't work. So, I don't know if it's going to be a good thing. If they brought it away, I mean, they've already taken it away from the iPad Pro. So, I don't know if it would make sense to do it. Maybe the Apple, maybe the iPad Pro does have Touch ID and they just haven't activated it? I don't know. It, it's very confusing. Like, why, like, it's, like, it's very weird. Like, why would you take away Touch ID on more than one device if you're going to bring it back on one of the devices that I got taken away from? Like, you're really going to make the iPad Pro feel lonely? by taking it away from them, but putting it back on the uh, thing. It's very cool, but it's just weird. Like, I don't know why they do that. It, it, it's weird. I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. But yeah, another one big thing is that Apple's finally getting rid of its proprietary cord. And we're going, like, entirely. And we're going for USB-C. The benefits of USB-C, um, QC30 is much faster than 2-amp charging. I'm actually not kidding. Like, there's a reason why they have that. Um, and it's not the first, and it wouldn't be the first, um, and actually, it isn't the first device to be charged through USB-C. I mean, all of the Mac line, all of the Mac line and iMac lineups now charge through USB-C. Their iPad charges through USB-C. I mean, yeah, the Apple Watch, you can't really say much about that because you can't just make like a USB-C cord and plug it in because that charges wirelessly no matter what. But I think they have the USB-C 
but there's a good chance that I think they have a USB-C, uh, like, they have, like, the magnetic cord, uh, for the USB-C, which would make sense, because it's, it's a USB-C device, I mean, it's, I mean, USB-C is faster, yep, yep, I was right, wow, it's $30, though, for, like, 0.3 millimeter, for 0.3 meters, oh, but it's, okay, oh, there's not much of a difference, though, okay, so, they do have a USB-C cord, so, you can charge, you can go from, like, the magnetic uh, charging thing to a USB-C, Basically now the only the only device that doesn't have USB C is the iPhone. I mean home pods they they're not gonna come with USB C. I mean what it would be nice to have like some portability because I'm sorry, they it, it kind of made some people crazy for not doing that. But I do if I do think that Apple could change that and put a USB-C cord in it for the HomePod. Um, I mean, all their Beats lineups charge to micro B, but I don't think they're going to really do anything else, especially since they're investing in their own studio pods, which I think is going to be a wireless charging thing, which is going to be wirelessly charging, but also it's going to have... Um, but, but the but the cable will probably go to USB-C. We'll go from like the stand to USB-C, which would be pretty nice. Um, I don't know what else they they could bring. I mean, the iPhone probably needs it. AirPods, that's still Lightning. I'm surprised they still use Lightning for that. Like if the if the AirPods are in a truly wireless case, they should probably change it from Lightning to USB-C. Because then it's just going to be the AirPods are the only ones using USB-C, which is going to be kind of weird for some people because they'd be like, why would I need to buy a lightning, lightning cord if my phone uses USB-C? I mean, the reason why the original AirPods had their had a lightning port was because their phones use and and you could easily just take one cord and be able to like charge the AirPods when needed if you don't need to charge your phone. Oh, uh, but yeah. And then of course, the last thing, well the last big thing for this uh, episode of iPhone Rumors is a smaller notch. I'm sorry Apple, you really killed the notch. I mean, 2018 was the year of the notch. 2019 is probably gonna be the year of the pimple. And if y'all don't know what that is, you should probably look up the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, rumors. And you'll see pictures of like a literal camera dot, like probably about that big. Maybe even smaller. I can't, I can't even go smaller because my hands are humongous. But they're going to really go, but they're really pushing for only one camera, like right about here. Like on like the co like the side corner of the camera, even just embedding it into the display, they're working on that. Now, of course, Apple's I like here's the sad thing about Apple, they're like always the last people into the market. Like now, I don't think they're gonna be the last people into the micro LED market. Like, I think right now for that, that is that we know they're working on that, but it's just a pain to produce to mass produce but wireless charging y'all they were like two years behind they were like a year or two behind 5g they're gonna be two years behind that um let's see they don't even have pencil support embedded this like fingerprint and embedded fingerprint display a fingerprint reader and display, they're still behind that. Like, there's no, like, innovation that makes them stand out. They're basically just, like, making Android the test users, and iPhone is just like, yep, we like that feature, let's put that in. Like, 
USB-C has been around for a long time. Like, the S8 had USB-C charging. Um, using OLED panels? The Galaxies have been using AMOLED since the beginning. Like, there's nothing new about OLED panels. Like, Apple really is behind everybody. Android's basically just like enjoying innovation while Apple's just sitting here and they're like, okay, what can we copy from them and just say that we're better than that? Oh, yeah, Face ID, let's do that. But, yeah, that's one of the sad things about Apple users. And I'm sorry if, y'all, if you're an Apple user and y'all just got triggered about that. But it's the cold hard truth. Samsung is more of an, in, like, Samsung, LG, Huawei, they're more innovator. They're more of an innovator than Apple. Apple literally goes around and waits and then they put it in when everybody's already seen it. Like we hear that like when we first heard like in 2017 that the uh, iPhone 8 was supposed that there's supposed to be like an embedded fingerprint sensor in the display. That would have literally made, that would have brought in so many phones, like, that would have brought in so many sales, because no one has that. But guess what? They fail to do that. And now, they have to suffer the repercussions, because almost every other major company has that. I mean, they're starting to have that. I mean, Samsung's going to have it next year. If Apple really wants to put it in this year, do it. Like, they need to. Because they found out how to do it. You just got to figure it out. Yeah. So, I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, like and subscribe. I will be posting more about this whenever um, something new comes around. So, whenever there's a new video that, whenever there's something like big that comes around. And, and we're like, oh my gosh, I got to post this. I will do it. And it will be probably put up on Monday. But this probably won't be put up, or let's say if it's like, it came out like the Wednesday or Thursday before, yeah, I'm not, like if it came out like the Wednesday or Thursday before, I might put that on like Tuesday. Like, I think Monday is going to be just like regular rumor videos, but Tuesday is going to be like... Oh my gosh, this is big. We're gonna we should probably talk about this. Uh rumor videos. Like that that's how much we're gonna do. Tuesdays are gonna be Wow, this is big. I should probably post this. Post something about this. And if it came out on Tuesday, wow, actually that'd be cool. But yeah, so again, expect to have an Yeah, so I uh, hope you guys like the video. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that y'all don't miss any future videos. Matter of fact, rumor videos, um, airport video, like aviation videos, or coaster videos. Peace.